Sunday afternoon here at Scale Models Midwest. Welcome you back to the workbench. As you can see, I've done a lot of work on this car. Uh, the LX5 liter SCCA Tribute. It's kind of morphed. Um, it's not just an SCCA Tribute. Talking with some of the commenters on previous videos, I decided to go kind of all in with the Iceman Collections chassis, brakes, and the 5 liter Cody engine one solid color which we are going to ultimately paint TS19 metallic blue. I'm also going to do that with the roll cage, more on that here in a moment. But as you can see I've done something I've never done before and that is I created some really massive fender flares. Never done them before but when I started mocking up the chassis to this kit I realized that one the front end wasn't going to fit right because uh, it was bumping up against the wheel lip. So I started sanding that down. Next thing you know, I didn't have stock wheel well moldings. That's okay. I figured I'll create a nice little fender flare, and before you know it, it uh, became a nice big fender flare. Well, then, you know, the rear end, when you use the Iceman uh, four-link rear suspension setup, was just not going to cut it with the tires. These are the 19-inch... Uh, Kron's um, tire and wheel package from uh, Aoshima and um, they're the same width front and rear so I figured I needed to widen the rear end housing which I did I currently have it mocked up with some uh, tube uh, styrene tube and I'll just you know, clean that up and then get it ready for paint eventually the chassis is the last thing I'm going to work on but I'm going to show you that too in a moment but as you can see these wheel wells I used some evergreen polystyrene sheet, the uh, 10 thousandths thickness, and uh, it's real easy to bend uh, into the wheel wells themselves. Used some um, of the Hobby Haven uh, gap filling medium CA glue, it's kind of like your Bob Smith Industries CA glue as well, some accelerator, and then I started to sand this and I wanted to see what it would look like. I still have a lot of work to do on this but um, I was able to sand out the evergreen scale styrene so what you see here is like 90 percent maybe 95 percent of uh, filler but I've sanded it down because I had these things sitting way white out kind of like those cars you saw in the 70s uh, that ran in the hills in uh, California but I like it I'll kind of show you around this here a little bit. Um, obviously the tires are going to fall off the moment I pick it up. Case in point. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And I'll have pictures at the end of the video too. Um, looking at this, I'll go ahead and I'll set the camera up just a little bit better. So I can put my hands on the model. So, looking at the kit... I ended up using Iceman Collections complete chassis setup, including the four link rear and um, the front end. I have also, I've still got some cleanup to do on this one, actually some considerable cleanup, but I did a tubular K member for the front end and I've got it to where it fits just right around the Coyote's oil pan and I've got some engine mounts that I'm also going to CA glue to these parts here um, before I put this into paint. And then I used the stock um, suspension piece here and it fits just fine. I also, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, there was a kick down. I went on ahead and cut that out and glued it back in place, sanded it so it was uh, level. And I did very much the same with the rear end. It was about, um, I don't know, about down here. It was extending past the rear bumper. So I went on ahead and cut that and repositioned it. And as you can see, here's my mock-up of what I need to do for the rear axle housing to what I need to add to it. I also did the rear um, any sway bar from the stock kit. And then I had to redo the chassis just one more time. I had to cut about a 
scale foot out of the wheelbase and then reattach it to the front part so these would be more centered into the wheel well. And having said that, on the fender flares, this is my first ever attempt at it. You might not be able to see it too well with the camera, but turn it in a little bit of an angle. You can see both sides. There's a lot of eyeball engineering here. I mean, I didn't use calipers or anything of that sort. I'm sure in future kits I'll do that. This one, um, I was already stepping way out of my comfort zone in doing fender flares. So I went on ahead and just eyeballed it and sanded, grinded, sanded again, grinded. Um, and I think it turned out okay. Front end, much the same way, as you can see. And what I did too, I'm going to take the chest part out. On the front end, I've seen a couple of YouTubers like uh, Aki Soto where they do the wheel well arches on the front end right to like the wheel lip molding or uh, the side trim here. And so I did that with the front end. The back end I did a lot more of a taper on both the front and rear. And like I said I got a lot more sandy to do, a little more contouring to do. But I just wanted to see how it would work. A little, as close as I can get to that. But ultimately I think for um, for a first effort in doing fender flares, not half bad. I did a lot of this when I was on last night's um, viewer forum at the Got Fuels Model Car Garage. Big shout out to those guys. Thanks for having me join you again last night. I was away for a few weeks, didn't get a chance to get onto that channel, but came back last night and man, those guys are something else. I'm watching some stuff that they're putting together and I look at my kit and I look at what they're building and I'm just in awe. And at the same time, I'm going, you know, these guys have been building for years. Well, so have I, um, but I've never built for contests where these guys, a lot of them build for contests. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what some of the kits turn out to be, especially the one gentleman whose name escapes me right now is building a Mobius and Jaguar combo. He's got a, I think it's like a late 60s Ford truck cab that he's mating to a mid-engine Jaguar, I believe XJR. And the more I looked at that, the more I said, wow, that'd be something I'd like to try someday. But you know, I gotta get this kit built first. So again, uh, Got Fuels Model Car Garage. If you get a chance, Saturday nights around 5, 6 o'clock, they have uh, a live cast, if you will. Join in, watch these guys. So many of them have great kits on the horizon and have built some great kits as well. So uh, definitely a channel worth checking out. And in fact, Got Fuels Model Car Garage is the one that started giving shout outs to come to my channel. So I'm, I'm giving it back. I've got now over 150 subscribers, really appreciate that. So just keep them coming. And again, keep the comments coming. Give me suggestions. Wanted to show you something too before I go. The interior, uh, if you notice, I kind of cleaned that up as well. It's kind of like my attempt at tin, if you will. I figured I didn't need the shock towers anymore because we've got the upper and lower control arm set up, tubular K member, and I looked at pictures. I didn't see anything like that on the kits. So I cut them out. And then I used the same 10 thousandths uh, polystyrene sheet, glued them in place, and kind of sanded them to fit. So I think that looks pretty sharp. I hope you like that too. But anyhow, that's what I've got for today as far as that kit's concerned. And uh, just, I don't know, I, I like what it's doing so far. As you can see, the bench is a little clean. It was a lot less clean here about a half hour ago before I started to record this. But as you can see, as I walk all around here, I've got things in primer. So, moving right along. Hopefully tomorrow I'll do a little bit of sanding and then start laying color coats down. For the interior, I traditionally use lighter colors. I'm real big on white interiors. For example, this Ford right here. 
something I pulled out of my Misfits box. I have, uh, I like white interiors because they show detail better. And I'll show you this kit more on like a midweek build update, but um, I just like this kit. It's very sweet. It's an AMT, I'm thinking 36 Ford, 37 Ford. Not sure, but um, I built this kit about 12 years ago, and it's using a Tester's One Shot lacquer. And then I'll do this one in more detail on a midweek update. But uh, remember, Lucas C. and others had a 40 Ford Challenge build off, and I knew I had a 40 Ford sitting somewhere, done up like a moonshine runner, and this is it. 40 Ford, supercharger, and the interior. Probably can't see it right here, but I did Ken's custom fuzzy fur kind of like a, a mohair interior and set it up to where in the rear end you can put a lot of moonshine back there. Kind of like the stuff that used to run back in North Carolina where I grew up. Although uh, I never knew anybody that did anything like that. But um, yeah, I'll show these off on a midweek update. I'll put together a couple of my kits from a Misfits box. But with that, I just hope you have yourself a great start to the week. I hope you had a great weekend, and as always, if you see something out in the hobby store that you'd like to build, pick it up, build it, show it off. If you want to, send me some pictures. I will post them on uh, future builds and give you some shout-outs. With that, have yourself a great day. See you in the next video, and hopefully I still have some sanity left after this. See ya.